this is a Vensor, and it has now been equipped with a smart function helping operators to detect when the performance of the pumps are deteriorating, hence being a trigger for service. This video introduced the function and shows a case when it helped to detect an issue in an actual pumping station. Let's watch. The function provides a warning that the pump has experienced a significant drop in pump performance. This can indicate an issue such as uh, clogging, worn hydraulics or failed non-return valves. It uses generally available data from a wet well pumping station, pump running and uh, optional analog water level data. Having access to water level increases the accuracy of the function. The data can be collected from almost any station using controller data via Modbus or data collected via the analog and digital inputs that are available on the CCD401 modem. This means that the function works with flight controllers but also can be used with third-party devices. The principle of the function is that it measures the time it takes to empty the sump for a pump. It also compensates for the inflow occurring during the pump cycle. This estimation is done looking at the inflow prior to and after the pump cycle. The function provides a capacity measurements for each pumping cycle, which is then not dependent on various type of variations in inflow and hence allows it to be compared over time. Now a real example. This case is about a pumping station in a building that is pumping grey water from a laundry room plus additional groundwater. An old controller and pumps had failed, causing an overflow in this room. The pump station was refurbished and fitted with two new Lovara deal pumps, an FGC 4 to 1 controller. The non return valves were cleaned but not replaced. At the startup, the function decreased pump capacity detection was enabled in Avensor. An Avensor alarm showing decreased pump capacity was received, first for pump 2 and shortly after for pump 1. Viewing the graph for pump 2 showed a significant drop in pump performance. Investigating the issue at site showed that water from one pump is pumped out in the second pump, thus indicating failed non-return valves. Using the shutoff valve for the other pump during pump operation shows performance returning to normal, as you can see in the spike in the graph. Ordering two new ball non-return valves to replace the existing failed ones. When replacing the valves, the physical inspection of the old valves confirms the issue. The old valves are stuck in fully open position. Performance is now back to normal after fitting the station with the two new ball non-return valves. Problem solved. The function helped the operator spot an issue that if undetected would have meant significantly higher energy consumption and also pump wear. This, since more than 70% of the water pumped, was actually only recirculated within the pumping station, not being pumped out to the building sewer mains.